a seat right here today. Let me sit down. I'm sorry. Those of you that are online, feel free to leave comments. The couple will be able to look at them afterwards. Uh, we would also like to welcome you to Donald and Sharonda's wedding. Feel free to share the link also with those that uh, may have forgotten that the wedding was starting at 530. So share the link. Share the YouTube link. <laughs> no, I'm talking to those online. <laughs> Hi, Coretta Frazier. We see that you're excited for the newsroom, and uh, they will see your congratulations. Thank you for coming. Be sure to... Uh
um, subscribe to our YouTube page, Hair Alive, or Hair Alive Films. Once their uh, wedding preview becomes available, you will get the alert.
Until we meet again, we think about you always. We talk about you still. You have never been forgotten, and you never will. We hold you close within our hearts, and there you will remain. To walk and guide us through our lives until we meet again. In loving memory of Dave and Ethel Minor, Lena May Snow, Linton Bird, Fayala Snow, Joshua Eubanks, Flybury Singleton, Jimmy Miller, and Demetrius Cox. God bless.
gives this woman to be married to this man? We, we do. do. <laughs> Both of us. <laughs> <All right. laughs> If there be any among you who knows of any reason that this couple should not be joined together in holy matrimony, let them speak now or forfeit your right to ever speak about it in the future. First Corinthians 13. And now I show you the most excellent way. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is proud. It is not rude. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil but rejoices in the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, and always preserves. There are three pillars upon which a great marriage may be built, faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of these is love. Donald and Sharon, I now charge you both as you stand in the presence of God, to remember that the love and faithful observance of your marriage vows and commitment to God are required as the foundation of a successful marriage and the establishment of a happy and enduring home. Keep the solemn vows you are about to make. Live in tender consideration of one another. Conduct your lives in honesty and truth, and your marriage will last and your home will endure. Live every day as if it's your last. And in the way that if one of you should unexpectedly part this earth, there would be no regrets. Keep this in mind and your marriage bond will be a blessing to you and you will be a blessing to others. Donald Cox, do you take this woman, Sharonda Minor, to be your wedded wife and to do you and do you solemnly promise before God and these witnesses that you will love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health, and that forsaking all others for her alone, you will perform unto her all the duties that a husband owes to his wife until God by death shall separate you. Sharonda, do you take down? to be your wedded husband? And do you solemnly promise before God and these witnesses that you will love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health, forsaking all others for him alone? And do you promise to perform unto him all the duties that a wife owes to her husband until God by death shall separate you? <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> Since after prayerful consideration, it is your expressed desire to be wed, I now ask you to join your right hands and turn toward each other. Now, Donald, repeat after me, looking at her. <laughs> Sharonda, I promise to love you. Now, this is the part where you can get your Mac on, all right? <laughs> Sharonda, I promise to love you, to cherish and honor, and protect you, to forgive you as Christ has forgiven me. I promise to be by your side in happiness and in sorrow, in sickness and in health. You are my best friend my rock, the love of my life. There is no one else I would rather grow old with. I take you as my wife, and I promise 
to be faithfully yours forevermore. Sharonda, repeat after me. Donald, I promise to love you. You can get your Mac on now. <laughs> <laughs> to cherish and honor and support you. To forgive you as Christ has forgiven me. I promise to be by your side in happiness and in sorrow, in sickness and in health. Donald, you are my best friend, my rock, the love of my life. There is no one else I would rather grow old with. I take you as my husband, faithfully yours forevermore. <laughs> Donald, what token do you give us as a symbol of your love for Sharonda? This ring is a symbol of everlasting covenant from God to man and from man to woman. It has no beginning and it has no end. It is placed on the third finger of the left hand as that is the only finger with a nerve leading to the heart. The ring has become the symbol of the deepest and dearest meaning of man's love for a woman and a woman's love for a man. It is an outward and visible sign of an inward and spiritual bond which united two loyal hearts in trust and endless love. Sharonda, will you receive this ring from Donald as a token of his affection, sincerity, and fidelity towards you? And will you wear it as a symbol of your own affection, sincerity, and fidelity towards him? Donald, you will now place this ring on the third finger of your bride and repeat after me. <laughs> this ring I give thee as a token of my abiding love. And with it, all my earthly goods I thee endow. With this ring, I thee wed. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Sharonda, what token do you have as a symbol of your love for Donald? <laughs> you will now place this ring on the third finger of his left hand and repeat after me. This ring, this ring. I give thee <laughs> as a token of my abiding love. And with, it, and with it, all my earthly goods I endow. Goods I endow. With this ring, this ring, I thee wed. In the name of the Father, the, the, Father, the, Son, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Agreements that are permanent between God and humans and treaties between mankind are called covenants of salt. They are covenants of strength and loyalty. Salt represents preservation, preservation, stimulation of thirst, commitment, purity, loyalty, <coughs> faithfulness, and obedience to God. Salt seasons and is flavorful. It is a sign of treasured friendship because salt never loses its effectiveness. Salt is a distinctive mark of Christian discipleship, of those who have allegiance to Jesus and the gospel. The salt covenant was a symbolic uh, of a bond made, was a symbol of the, a bond made with God or man, considered a principle of God to be taken seriously, of a permanent relationship and if broken, 
had serious consequences because of violated and damaged fellowship. Upon this principle, I will ask each of you to get a pinch of salt from your own pouch and put it in the other's pouch. Now I will ask that you close the pouch and shake it gently. Shaking the salt pouches serves as a reminder that the covenant you have just made can never be broken because it is no longer possible to go into either, each other's pouch and retrieve the original salt that you put in. Salt being a precious preservative is everlasting like God's promises. It serves as a reminder of God's faithfulness, of his activity in people's lives. For salt penetrates throughout, preserves, and aids in healing. I pray that each of you maintain the qualities of the salt you've exchanged, that this covenant of salt bind you together forever, and that the spirit and grace of God be your sufficiency both now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. You may now uh, light the unity. about y'all see it don't take very much to usher me all the way in <laughs> oh my Woo. let me man, let's move on through the ceremony before I get out. oh my god i'll ask y'all to repeat after me if you can <laughs> entreat me not to leave thee entreat me not to leave thee or to return from following after thee or turn from following after thee for where thou goest i'll go 
and where thou lodgest, I'll lodge. Where thou lodgest, I'll lodge. <laughs> thy people shall be my people. <laughs> thy people shall be my people. And thy God, my God. And thy God, my God. Where thou diest, I'll die. Where thou diest, I'll die. <laughs> and, and there will I be buried. And there will I be buried. Lord, do so to me. Lord, do so to me. And more also. And more also. If anything but death. If anything but death. Shall part us. Shall part us. Let us pray. Father, we thank you, Lord God, for your presence in this place on today. God, we thank you for Donald and Sharonda, Lord God, for bringing their hearts and knitting them together. Father, we just ask that you would cover them all the days of their life. Lord, I speak prosperity over them right now in the name of Jesus, Lord God. Father, I speak your divine health over their lives, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. And Father, in the name of Jesus, whatever they put their hands in their minds and their hearts to do, may it prosper in your name. God, we thank you for this couple, Lord God, that you brought together, Lord God. And we bless them right now in the name of Jesus. And everyone in the tender said, Amen. 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 And amen. amen. Please join your right hands. Having pledged your faith in and love to each other, and having sealed your solemn vows by the giving and receiving of rings, and the exchange of salt acting in the authority vested in me by the laws of this state and looking to heaven for divine sanction, I pronounce you husband and wife in the presence of God and these assembled witnesses. Therefore, let all men take care in the sight of God for holy covenant shall ever remain sacred. Two flesh have now become one. What God hath put together, let no man put asunder. You may now kiss your bride. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah, y'all be clapping for you. We, we have a special presentation from the other man of the house, none other than uh, Donald Cox III, affectionately known as Buster. <laughs> Glory uh -huh. to God. Glory to God. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I now present to you Mr. and Miss Donald Cox. <laughs>
thank you all for participating and watching the ceremony. Carmen. I'm taking this over to the Carmen. bride and groom so you all can say hello. They're coming. Keela got them. All right, y'all want to say anything to the people online? Hello. Thank, thank you for tuning in. in. Thank you so much. We wish you guys could be here, but we really appreciate you guys for tuning in. Thank you so much. Yes, yeah, so hopefully we you all should be able to see the comments online. Okay. okay. So right now we got almost 50. Okay. <laughs> Tune in later. Make sure you subscribe to this page. Uh, when a wedding preview pops in, you'll get an alert to your email. Thank you.